here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> let's do introduce a little bit at the beginning. So, my name is Jana Litrtova. I am the Vice Dean for Research and Science of this faculty. I also teach biology and biochemistry in our department of medicine base of kin anthropology. And I'm looking forward to have a new new students and new class to teach you biology. In the end of the semester, you are going to pass, fail, depending on you, one exam from biology. Uh, normally, we have three terms for the to pass the exam. Uh, we are going to write the exam in paper form in a classroom, so presence form, no teams anymore. I guess that the online form it's for, I, for exam, it's not really the suitable one because I would like to see you at least during the exam. Uh, I think the lectures might be uh, like this in this online form. Normally I am teaching from classrooms, but this year uh, there is a problem with some Wi-Fi connection and therefore I decided to teach from my office. So I am really happy that you just uh, manage it and you find the correct meeting. Just please just click on the link I send you and you will be in the meeting. Do not create something else because I am not going to join uh, something different. I am going to be here every Friday from 1 p.m. to uh, to 2.30. I'm going to record the lecture. So what it means? It means that if you don't have time to be here or something is wrong with Teams, with internet connection and so on, don't panic. Uh, you can see the video later once you have internet connection and you have time. So it's, I think, quite a good option. Uh, but sometimes uh, I, I do not make some attendance, something like that. This is something that would confuse me. But on the other hand, uh, I will give you during the lecture some activities. So if you cannot uh, be here online, you cannot join the activities and therefore you cannot gain some points. And these points are uh, counted together. And in the end of the semester, I put together the points from your activities and the points from your test. And if it is exceeds some value, I'm going to give you the credits. So uh, you have to write, you, practically you can substitute your activities during the semester with the activities uh, during the test. So I would like to show you something written. I hopefully I can find it. So first of all, uh, before I show you uh, the requirements to the credit, I would like to ask you. So just introduce yourself. I'll ask you one by one and you are going to introduce yourself. I start? Yes. OK, you can start. Yes. So first of all, I will ask you. So Alexandros, you can start. Just show. It's uh, maybe better to show your picture or camera, switch on camera. Oh, hello. My name is Alexandros. I'm mm -hmm. from Cyprus. I'm really happy to be here and learn biology. Why you study here in Fotovaso, in, in Prague, in Charles University? What is the claim you would like to just gain? Uh, I've studied in Greece occupational therapy, mm -hmm. and I decided to continue my studies with uh, physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. So I can uh, combine both of them since they are similar sub. Uh, similar studies or similar work. 
and uh, I also enjoy doing massage, uh, helping people, and that's why I decided to continue my studies on physiotherapy too. So you are going to finish your your studies in the Czech Republic, or you are going to return to Greece? I'm gonna finish my studies in the Czech Republic as for now. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. So thank you, Alexandros. What about next one? What about Tara? I just left. Okay, Natalie. Could you introduce yourself? There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, whole class here. So one by one, you can just go and introduce yourself. So please tell me your name, where are you from, and why you study in Prague, in Charles University, and what is your topic? Just these four things. Okay. Uh, well, my name is Natalie. I come from the United States, but my family and I are, are all Polish. Um, I'm here in Prague because um, I really like the city here a lot more than back home. Uh, and I really want to study physiotherapy as my ultimate goal is to be a physiotherapist for performing artists to combine two of my interests. So I felt that Charles University would be great in helping me achieve that. Nice. Thank you. It's Elizabeth, yeah? I didn't understood really much. No. Um, Natalie. Tara, Tara, okay, is it Tara? No, oh, no. Natalie. Uh, Na okay. Natalie. Maybe again, please. Natalie? Please. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's fine. Uh, Who is the next one? Who is sitting nearby you and typing to the mobile phone? So, it's, what's your <laughs> name and where are you from? Clara. I am Czech, and uh, you want to take yeah. it closer? Uh, and uh, this is my first year studying physiotherapy, and I want to study physiotherapy because um, the idea comes from I'm a runner and I get injured, and when I started going to physiotherapy, I was fascinated by how it all works and how the entire body is like connected. So I think. This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, who is the next one? The guy with glasses? Yes. My name is Pat and I'm from India. Uh -huh, nice to meet you. Hi, um, and uh, fascinated by the subject. I know some people from the first faculty of medicine at Charles University, so that's how I got to know the faculty and the university. But ultimately, I wanted to do something where I can help people and use my knowledge in the same way to do the career. This is a good idea. Thank you very much. So, and then Thank guy you. with this fancy t shirt. Uh, What's your hi, name? My name is uh, uh, I am from the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And I study physiotherapy because uh, I do sports and I like to. <clears throat> Yeah, the internet connection is pretty bad in, in the classroom. Uh, Gus, you are in U1? Or where you are? Hey, I see the call you. Aha. Yeah, the internet connection is pretty bad. I see. Okay. I just catch that you are from the Czech Republic, but I didn't catch that you are Jakub or Ivan? Ivan. Ivan. So, Ivan, why you study in, in English? Because uh, I studied in high school in English and I wanted to carry it to the university and I wanted to learn English more. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a good deal, I think. Yeah, fine. So thank you, Ivan. Uh, what about the next one? Someone else in the Sorry. classroom? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi, my name is Haunia from Botswana. Botswana. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me something about you. Why you study biology or even why you study Charles University? So hey the internet connection is again really bad. So yeah, again, I cannot hear okay. you. The internet connection is very, okay. very bad. So maybe, um, okay, C tell me again, please, your, your name, how I can call you, because it's really easy. I cannot hear it. How one? How one? How old? Yes, yeah, like oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to just put it together, the written form and the sound. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Someone else outside? Yes. And there's me. Hi. Uh, it's under Elizabeth, but everybody calls me Alden. Uh-huh. Alden, okay. Uh, Alden. I'm from Oregon uh -huh. in the United States yeah. and I'm studying physiotherapy, mid, mid, midlife career change. Mm -hmm. um, I took care of my parents for 10 years mm -hmm. um, and now they are gone and so I'm doing this for me. Yeah, it's nice. New information. Nice. Good luck. Good Thank luck. you. Yeah, I trust you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, uh, what Thank about another one? Uh, what about Matthew? Hello. Hi. I hope my camera works. Hi. Uh -huh. um, I was supposed to come here last year, but my visa got delayed. Yeah, I remember your name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, um, yes. Yeah, well, I'm Sanskriti. Um, you can call me Sunny. It's easier. Mm -hmm. And I picked this uni because my coach and I decided I would I would come here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but it's not my first year doing physio. Mm -hmm. I did it in Hungary for a year. Mm -hmm. So I did like transfer my credits to this okay. uni. So, mm -hmm. yeah. OK, thank you, Matthew. May I call you Matthew? Because you have your, the, your second name. It's maybe your surname. Matthew is your first name. Uh, Matthew is my dad's name. Aha. So, sounds who? How it is pronounced? It, your name? Sounds Kruti. Sounds Kruti. Yeah, you can call me Sunny. It's easier. Sunny, or yeah, Sunny. Okay. Just Sunny. Yeah. Sunny. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sunny. Uh, what about Mohammed Gassen Mayoub? Yeah, uh, that's me. Mm -hmm. I Hello. am uh, uh, Tunisian and uh, I wanted to study physiotherapy one because my mom recommended it and I was good at uh, biology so mm -hmm. and I liked sports so I just combined them both uh, and uh, went for physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How I can call you? My Mayoub or Mohammed or? Uh, just Mohammed. Mohammed, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mohammed. Nice mm -hmm. introduction. Okay, thank you. Who next? Hesam Resk. Uh, yeah, hello. Hello. Um, hi. Uh, I'm from Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I just, last year I did the preparatory year in Kodiwadi uh, and now I am in uh, physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. And you have a brother or sisters? Or yeah, brother, yeah. Another one. So may I call you Hassan? 
Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, just to distinguish. Okay, Hassan, thank you very much. What about your brother, Faisal? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, I'm actually uh, from Jordan, half Palestinian, and I was raised in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I was actually recommended by a friend to mm -hmm. study in Charles University. And I just liked the idea of physiotherapy. So I was like, just go with it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everything goes well and I'm excited to be here. Yeah, you are here first year? Yeah, second year. I was also second year, year ah, in Puerto Oh, you have some experiences from the Czech Republic. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Thank you, Thank Faisal, you. for your introduction. Who next? Uh, Natalie, she was. Georgios. Georgios. Sopios? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So <laughs> my name is uh, George. All right, Sopios. Uh, I'm from Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, I chose like first of all, I chose physical therapy because actually my grandfather he was he's a physical therapy, mm -hmm. uh, physical physio therapist, and uh, I really like his job. And I joined like I have been a lot of times to to his like um, to his job and whatever he does and stuff like that. Uh, also. I chose Charles University because my brother is he's he studies already here in Charles. He's in the mm -hmm. second year, but he's a different faculty. And yeah, well, that's it. Okay, thank you. So George, okay. not Georgios, George. Uh, yeah, it's George. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> I, I don't mind. You know? In Greece, it's Georgios. In Greece, it's actually Yorgos. It's not Georgios. Yorgos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Yorgos. Okay, thank you, George or Yorgos. I'm I'm so, with This Jacob, is your brother or no no no, 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 no. I'm, I'm I'm the next. I'm <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm from Slovakia and I mm -hmm. come to so, study. Jakub Wojciech? Jakub Wojciech? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I come to study uh, physiotherapy because I like sports a lot and I, I want to help people in sports and also I wanted to study it in Prague because I wanted to move out from my uh, neighbor, like hometown. So Jakub is your first name or Wojtek? Jakub. Jakub. So Jakub, why you study in English in the Czech Republic? Do you understand Czech? Uh, yeah, I, well, of course I understand Czech, but uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes, it's, for it's example, to... my daughters they don't understand Slovak. So <laughs> yeah, but it's harder to me to write in Czech because mm -hmm, I really yeah. don't know how to write, and speak English is better for me. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, I understand. Thank you, Jakub. So who is the next one? I just forgot who was and who wasn't. Maybe so. Marcus was here. Who wasn't speaking? Please tell me. Uh, it's me. I haven't spoken. Spoke. Okay, Marcos. Uh -huh. Hello. Marcos. Uh, I'm from Cyprus. Mm -hmm. And uh, I chose uh, physiotherapy because uh, I like to see how people uh, can, how I can change people's lives, like uh, from having a having some pain to like feeling nothing the next day or with some. Uh, special um, treatment and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's good aim, I think, I guess. Um, yeah, physiotherapy, definitely, yes. Thank you, Marcos. Yeah. Uh, what about Mahdi? Mahdi? I, re I remember this name from some another subjects, which I taught last year's. Mahdi is probably not here. Uh, what about Clara Ningerova? Not here. Okay, Natalie, she was speaking already. Uh, Gaone Chishkovska. Not here. Alexandros, he was. Uh, what about no. Almasi? Yeah. He was speaking. I, I am here. Sam Tadi, Gaone Chishkovska. Gaona Chishkovska, it's you. Ah, I was like, sorry, you have Czech surname. <laughs> yeah. So, we mentioned Okay, nice to see you, Gaona. Nice. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, it was it was hard to hear you because the internet connection in the place you are is very terrible bad. So I was just estimating what it could be. So thank you very much. OK, who wasn't speaking? Who else? Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. So uh, my name is Moab. Mm -hmm. And I am from Jordan. What? Uh -huh. I'm from Jordan. Yes. Uh, and I chose uh, physiotherapy because actually I don't like uh, physics and math. <laughs> and it's a very good measure in Jordan, so I can work like mm -hmm. in good conditions in Jordan. Yeah, yeah. But I like physics and we will have during biology also a little touch of mathematics and physics and chemistry. So yeah, I but hope it's that just people physics. join us. But don't worry, it's not really a uh, so hard way that I'm going to explain it. Uh, it's maybe like the popularization of physics and as well. So nothing difficult, don't worry. Oh, so who wasn't speaking? <laughs> who else? Uh, hello. Hello, so Hamad. Hello. Yeah, my name is Albara Hamad. Uh, how can, how can I call you, Hamad or uh, Albara? You can call call me Albara. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Albara, not Hamad. How about ha, my Albara. father? Albara. Uh -huh. Albara. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Syria. I chose Charles University because my cousin was study here in Hradec Kralovi, uh, and he recommended for me. And I like to help the people with the, the movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for that I chose uh, physiotherapy. Yeah, thank you very much. So Albara, thank you. Yeah. Who was the next one? Who will be the next one? I saw one. Hossein. Hello, Hossein? <laughs> my name is Hossein. Uh, I'm from Iran. Hmm? Uh, I've been in Czech Republic like so for... Iran or Iraq? Iran. Iran, okay. Yes. I've been in Czech Republic for like uh, two years. Mm -hmm. You and speak Czech? Yeah, literally, yes. I got <laughs> uh, A2 in Czech language. Uh, and uh, I'm studying physiotherapy because I'm, I really like uh, science and a sport. So mm. it's a good combination. Yes. Yeah. OK, thank you, Hossein. Okay, who wasn't speaking? Well, Hi, um, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I heard you call my name, but uh, my device had some problems, so I was. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Sarah. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm Tara. I'm also from Iran. Um, I've been in Prague for four years already, and uh, uh, I've been studying pharmacy for two years. Uh, actually in Czech language and uh, but I decided to just come back to Prague change and you know <laughs> English know. is much much better <laughs> yeah English Czech language is, like is very difficult much yeah. better like it's easier so yeah here I am with you so happy <laughs> so you have some relation to the, Czech, the relationship to the Czech Republic that you decided to study pharmacy in Czech um, no, I just, um, I was really good with languages since I was a kid, so I decided, like, why not? Oh, it's a challenge. I studied Czech for one year, and then I got accepted in Heradets Kralove, and then I mm -hmm. decided okay. to go. <laughs> oh, amazing. Nice. Thank you, Tara. Thank You're you very welcome. much. Someone in the group who wasn't speaking? Uh... Excuse me, uh, Professor. Yes. Uh, some students that they can join like the meetings. Uh -huh. Can you add them? Yeah, but I cannot see them. They had to click. They yeah, to they click. already sent a request, but uh, actually you didn't access. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check it. No. Nobody. There is nobody. Ready? I confirm everyone who just click on the link. Just ask them to do it again. 
or you can uh, type if you have some connection with them you can type uh, their uh, name or even the number so if you have ISIC there is a number just you can write me the number I will add them manually that's only one thing what I can do if they are not able to click on the link yeah actually the link uh, doesn't work anymore for them you know that's strange it should work to everyone um, they need um, they have to use the official email not something which is your personal email just the official one okay if they have still some problems we are going to solve it later uh, but anyway, uh, if you have a problem, first of all, uh, try to uh, connect with your official email. It's number. And uh, it, it should work. If you have a problem, just send me your name together with the number and I will add you manually to the group. So that's how it can be solved. But not now. We have a lecture. Right now we are going to, but it doesn't matter if ca they cannot join us right now uh, because uh, they can join the second lecture and this one is going to be recorded. It's already recorded, so don't worry. So uh, everybody here just introduced, I hope. And now I'm going to show you what are the requirements for credits. So just, just to share the screen. Okay. So credit requirements. So for biology, uh, there is different uh, year, but it doesn't matter. So the same one was uh, uh, yesterday, uh, not yesterday, last year. Now, did you see uh, the screen? There is written biology and credit requirements. Could you see it, please? Yes. Just one of you say yes. 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 You. Uh, so this is my name. If you didn't catch it, so it's quite complicated. I see maybe you can call me Jana. Yeah. So, uh, so Jana is my first name. So uh just you know uh i am associated professor so call me yana but try to be polite as soon as possible yeah so please you can call me yana but try to be polite because i am a professor your teacher so yes i hope that you understand me and how to get credit so uh the best way is the recipe how to get easiest way how to get credit is to join our lecture every week if you cannot attend it can happen it doesn't matter just try to see the record the video as soon as possible just to stay in contact because every lecture uh, so you know it's not separate lecture the topics they continue the topic of the of whole seminar of whole lectures it continues it develops you have to gain not only the knowledge but also some skills we are going to calculate something we are going to use math some functions so this biology is very general course but anyway uh, i hope that you will learn a lot of new information and lots of new skills so start, try to stay in contact with me and with your colleagues if you have some problem it's the best way is just to write the problem or question or something to the teams i'm going to see it immediately the wrong way is to write emails because it's a very long time that I can have time to answer your emails. I, I getting every day more than 100 emails for everyone. So as you can understand, if I just reply every day 100 emails, I don't have time to do anything else. So if if you ask me something serious, something which is related with the subject, so please write it to the chat of teams. So this is the best way to get fast answer for me from me. Uh, 
So during the semester, you are going to get some uh, points uh, which you are going, which you can receive from your activities. For example, I will give you some task during our lecture to work in group, in pair or for your own. And once you finish, finish it, you will tell me the answer or and you will get the, the points or uh, you can. Uh, you will have a presentation during our seminar. So uh, for your presentation, you can get the points. All the points are get it together. And in the end, you will need 35 points. So if you have 35 points, you will receive the credits. You can get also the credits from the test. So for the test is for 40 points. So it's another strategy. You can give up the attendance of this course at all and try to write a credit test. But you have to write it quite excellently because you need 35 points and cr credit test offer you only 40 points. Yeah. And we are going to write this then uh, this test in January. We will have 30 minutes for this test. I think it's pretty fine time. If you need a little bit more, just let me know if you have some uh, problems like uh, uh, like dyslexia or dysgraphy, I will give you more points. But you need some special paper for that from, from medical, uh, for, from your doctor. So activity points and the credit, it provides a mixture of points. And if you just uh, gain at least 35, you will get the credits. Is it clear for everyone? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Someone would like to ask me? Uh, excuse me, Prof. Yes. Uh, sorry for interrupt. Uh, he actually sent a request. Can you add my friend? Sorry. Uh, I will try it. Okay. I have to put it down. Just okay. Yeah, I know I see it. So is that one? Behnud yes. yes, yes. I don't know why it is not working, but by this way, maybe it should work. OK, he is here. Finally, OK, no questions for credits. That's fine. So I'm going to give you some activities during lectures and also some homeworks, mini tests, something like that. So, but now we have something like less than one hour, 50 minutes or 49. Uh, so we are going to go through a uh, first topic, which is quite easy. I think you may know many things from this topic. So we are going to deal with the composition of living matter. Uh, we are also, <clears throat> also going to talk about the cell structure, but maybe we are going to continue next time. I will give you your first homework and it will be to prepare. To prepare um, uh, your presentation about one of the cell organelle. You are going to work in pair because to this year we have a little bit more students, so we will see how we can do it. So let's start. First of all, uh, we are going to focus on the chemical composition of living matter. Then we will try to provide some general characteristics of life. So what is living? And next time we are going to focus on cell structure. Uh, so we can divide if you have a periodic table. So you do know periodic table of all elements. You can Google it. So it's practically all elements in in the earth, in the universe, which are present are put it into the table and they are ordered depending on the nuclear number, number of proteins and so on. Uh, but just a part of them, we can call them by genius elements. Just a 
quite tiny source of them. Uh, these biogenous elements we can divide on two groups, microelements and microelements. Uh, the macro elements, uh, it's 11 elements, which uh, matter put it together creates 99.9% of all living bodies. From 11 of these elements, we have these four. So it's carbon, C, O, it's oxygen, H, it's hydrogen, N, it's nitrate. These four elements create 95% of all living bodies. So are you familiar with uh, the link between the letter and the name of the element? So do you know that the mark or the letter for carbon is C? Yes. Yes. I see Alex Andros, Alexandros knows, but maybe the rest of class, they are not sure. So there's one recommendation, very strong recommendation. It's not a command, but maybe it should be a command. If you are not familiar with these names of elements and the, their letters, just download from Google the element, the periodic table of elements and try to learn the elements which we are talking about. This is very useful and you will need it in this course and also with Isak Kovac, my student, in biochemistry and other related subjects. So if you are not familiar, learn it. This is something what is normally taught in the grammar school. So carbon, uh, oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen, this is four very, very important biogenous elements. Practically the majority uh, of chemicals present in living bodies, they are created solely from these four elements. Beside these four, top four, uh, we have uh, another uh, seven elements, which also are uh, just put it into the group of macro elements. It's sulfur, it's S. P is phosphorus, magnesium, Mg, Ca, it's calcium, Na, it's natrium, K, it's potassium, and Cl is chlorine. So these seven elements together, they create another almost 5%, so 4.9% of living matter. And this tiny amount, less than 1%, so 0.1% is created by microelements. So they are quite, it's a small group, but very important. Now we are going to talk uh, mostly about top four, so carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Uh, first of all, we have to mention that carbon creates almost 20% of all living matter. So one fifth of living matter is created like uh, is created from carbon. Carbon is like a skeleton. It's a skeleton for the living bodies actually. And because it's a skeleton for organic matter, it's a skeleton for organic molecules. In general, we can find uh, in the earth, in the universe, in our bodies, two forms of carbon. The first one is organic one. To this organic uh, form uh, are belongs saccharides, lipids, nucleic acids, peptides, proteins, etc. Uh, one typical feature for the carbon, organic carbon, is that there is a sp hybridization sp3 hybridization of the valence orbitals so now you are a little bit upset because probably you don't uh, you didn't understand to this quite complicated sentence don't worry i'm going to explain it probably you rem remember from grammar school that every element is created from nucleus and nucleus, they are proton and neutrons, protons and neutrons. 
the number of protons refers to the periodic table, refers to the type of the element. For example, carbon has 12 protons. For example, hydrogen has just one proton. This is the most, this is the smallest element, smallest atom within the universe. And so this is the nucleus. It's a positively charged. And somewhere quite far from the nucleus are flying, flying. This is just imagination. They are not, they, they, they haven't wings but they can fly its electrons. They carry a negative charge and they flies on some orbits. We call it these orbits, like orbit, you know, if you have a, uh, some star and around, around the star are flying the planets. So they have some special trajectories and we call these trajectories orbits. But if we get to the smallest, tiniest universe in every element we have, uh, we call these trajectories for electrons not like um, orbits, but like orbitals. Probably you, you know, remember that they have different shapes, like S, P, D, and F, and the levels of the orbitals, it could, could be like a, like a peels. So they are really, uh, they make a row of energies. So the lowest energy is the closest to the nucleus. From farthest away from nucleus, we have a higher energies of electrons. So back to carbon. Now you know that we have an atom. Atom is created from nucleus, positively charged, and electrons negatively charged, somehow flying in some very well-defined trajectories. And if we have uh, carbon in organic form, the, tr the last type trajectories, which are on the surface of the atom, they are just put it together. There are two orbitals, which energies are quite close. It's S orbital and P orbital. These two orbitals are just mixed together and they create some hybrid orbital, which is called SP orbital. So it's not really separated, two separated orbitals like S and a little bit far P, but for the organic compounds, it's mixed together and they have the same energy and they have a unique shape. This is very important. The shape is different from the S orbital as well as different from the P orbital. In contrast, the organic, uh, the, the inorganic carbon, so the carbon which is created in CO2 molecule, diamonds, graphite, and so on, this type of carbon, the inorganic carbon, this carbon doesn't have this hybridization. So it means that the S orbital and the P orbital, they are differentiated by some energy and they have a specific shape. Is it, I know that it's complicated, but more or less, is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay, fantastic. I have very clever students. If it is not clear, Two options, what I offer to you. Just see this sequence of the video again. If it is still not clear, ask me next lecture. I'm going to back and I'm going to draw it on a blackboard. I will move my laptop and I will clean my, uh, it's not blackboard, it's whiteboard and I'm going to draw it, yes? Okay, let's move a little bit. Yes, thank you. You are welcome. You are very welcome. So carbon cycle, it's very important element. So I just mentioned that 20% of living uh, bodies, it's created by this element. But for biology and maybe for environment, uh, it's very important to know what are the pathways of carbon. So we are going to focus now on the carbon cycle. So carbon cycle, 
uh, can be uh, divided into three main parts. Just look at the bottom here on this little picture with, with which uh, we can see that carbon is present in three forms, in three states. The first one, CO2 molecule, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, this is very famous molecules. Uh, it's a gas, actually. Probably, you know, it's a greenhouse gas. You probably, guys, you know that this uh, uh, molecule, this gas, increase the greenhouse effect. So it means if the concentration of CO2 molecule is increasing, the global temperature of our Earth is increasing as well. There is a positive feedback. Um, the concentration of CO2 molecules uh, differs within the time. Uh, it's sometimes it goes down, sometimes it goes higher. But recently, it seems that the increase of CO2 molecule is because of human activities. Uh, that's the reason that the last decade of our Earth that we are calling Anthropocene. So Anthropos, so it means like humans, Anthropos, it's a human species that we very affect, very influence uh, the global climate and practically everything. So because we are burning um, uh, coil, we are burning, uh, you know, gasoline and so on. And in gasoline and in coil, there is the organic form of carbon bounded. And once we are going to burn it, so chemically it's oxidized, we switch the organic form of carbon to inorganic form, to CO2 molecule, to gas, which is evaporated, yeah, if I just simplify that. Uh, but CO2 molecule, it's uh, just a food for plants. So plants are eating CO2 molecule, and what they are doing, they use the energy from the sun, and then they use uh, carbon dioxide, as an element, as a, as a substrate, as a something what we can make something else, and they put it together in a reaction, which you, which the name is well now. Do you know the name of the reaction? CO2 molecule and sun together with chlorophyll, enzyme Rubisco, how we call the reaction? Alexandros, yeah. he knows everything. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Photosynthesis, guys. <laughs> Very famous reaction. So the catalyzer for this reaction is called Rubisco. Rubisco is the most famous and most abundant enzyme in the earth. So photosynthesis, the most important reaction at all. Actually, without sun and plants, we are not here. So again, CO2 molecule, inorganic carbon as a gas, together with energy from the sun, photons coming to the green plants. They, they are making something like blah, 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 Chari Mari Fuk. But this Chari Mari Fuk, it's a very uh, well studied process, which we call photosynthesis. It has several steps, several phases. Many enzymes participate, not only Rubisco, um, on this biosynthesis. And in the end, we have organically bounded carbon in the molecule, which the name you probably know. It's a sugar, one of the simplest sugars. Glucoses. Mm -hmm. But this is just the formality. Uh, plants are synthesizing from car uh, CO2 molecule and sun more than glucoses, more complicated structures as well as more simplest structures. This is just the simplified reaction which I'm talking about. But this very important reaction. Beside uh, glucoses, uh, one gas is also created. What we are breathing? Gas, air, and the air is existed exist uh, consists from 
nitrogen and oxygen oxygen yes actually oxygen also is created during photosynthesis but not all the time sometimes students if i ask them okay could you explain me what is the importance of uh, photosynthesis uh, many students okay many students they are just silent uh, but few of them just tell me okay because of oxygen but actually originally uh, the photosynthesis was not created because of some necessity of oxygen oxygen at the first point in during the development of photosynthesis because photosynthesis it wasn't made like okay one just to say okay light just be no photosynthesis just be human just be no it's, this is really this concept it doesn't work so uh, therefore uh, every everything in the earth also us like a human species every plant every 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 everything is developing as well as photosynthesis so it was created this reaction as a protection of some structures and in the cell once the life in the earth was created uh, there were no atmosphere or the atmosphere has had a different content uh, there were many methane and also the radiation especially the uv radiation coming from the sun this is something that kills life it can give life I will explain it to you later. But uh, once we have a life structure like a DNA, RNA, some membrane structure, it can be destroyed by UV radiation. Therefore, all the life, uh, all the organism has to be protected somehow against the UV radiation. Probably uh, life was created under the water or in the water. But the layer of water, it's a good protection against UV, but it's not enough sometimes, especially if you have quite complicated and quite important structure like RNA and DNA. You have to protect it more. Therefore, the organisms uh, made uh, structures organic molecules which are called pigments it's a colors just looking around we can see the leaves of trees they are green during the summer during autumn they are they are switching to different colors like santophils lycopans and the others so we have blue we have the red we have uh we have uh, yellow, orange, and many, many other. So there is a very big variety of pigments and colors which can be present in plant, uh, in among plants in general. So this system of pigments protected at the first point the life important structures in the, within the cell. Many, many billions of years later, plants or these organisms, we cannot call them plants actually, it was just the simple organisms which just have some colors, some pigments. They found that the energy, which is uh, just because sun is energy, that's a radiation. The radiation, uh, which is just entering uh, some structures in the cell it's a photon so it's another corpuscle which carries uh, energy S sometimes it's quite difficult to imagine that uh, radiation like light it has it's a corpuscle like a photon as well as it's a wave actually it's both you can imagine like a quantum of energy and the quantum of energy, the amount of energy really depends on the speed and on the wavelengths of the photon, on how it is reaching and, and approaching to the target. And the target in this case, it's some pigment. So the photon as a particle can be catched, or you can imagine like an energy, like a wave, 
which is also caged by the structure. And somehow a part of the energy is just get by the structure and transferred for to be used as an energy. We can say that the energy of light from the sun is converted by whole apparatus of photosynthesis to the chemical energy. So we are getting this light energy. We convert it with very complicated process, but very fascinated process. Actually, at my university, we had two semesters uh, which were dedicated to photosynthesis. So two semesters. So we practically uh, learned a lot of photosynthesis but not everything. So therefore I'm trying to explain you photosynthesis in 10 minutes. So I cannot explain you everything, but just to imagine that the light is coming to some black box and it black box happens something that this light energy is transformed to chemical energy. So chemical energy is, is between elements in bonds. So if I just switch here, here you have a quite famous structure. This is hacarosis. So this is glucose, this is fructose. Could you see the arrow which I'm showing? Could you see the red dot here? Just yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, the energy is transformed to the energy of bonds. So the energy is stored. It's a, like an energy drink. So the bond between uh, elements, this is the energy which is just get transformed and stored for some future usage. So maybe back and just a little bit concluded. At the beginning, we have a light. We have also some substrate, some building blocks like Lego. OK, you can do you know what is Lego? Yeah, so it's OK, you know what is Lego. So we have energy, you have Lego. And if you put it together, you can just take a piece of the energy and you create from the Lego boxes, Lego pieces, a house, for example. Yeah, the same do the plants. They have CO2 molecules, they have light, sun, and so CO2 molecule is Lego box, and they are making not house, but sugar. And you know that in sugar, sugar is rich on energy, but it's a different form of energy. It's not a sun, it's not a light, but it's chemical energy. Is it clear, more or less? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nice. Back to the carbon cycle. So, CO2 molecule, it's clear. It's a gas, it's present in the atmosphere. But a part of CO2 molecule can be dissolved also in the water. And if CO2 molecules is dissolved in the water, we have an acid. Uh, so the pH, of course, of this liquid of water is a little bit changed. And also the state of the CO2 molecule is a little bit transformed. Um, water uh, can accumulate a lot of CO2 molecule. However, uh, if it depends on the temperature of water. If we have quite warm water, it can absorb and dissolve less CO2 molecule. So by warming of water, water can uh, dissolve a smaller amount of CO2 molecule. So it's a negative feedback. So what did happen from the point of view of global warming? You probably know that oceans I mean, the world oceans, all the water in the air can accumulate heat, which is coming from global warming. However, the capacity 
the heating capacity of oceans, this is Terminus Technicus, heating capacity of oceans is limited. Uh, it's quite commonly known that the heating capacity of oceans, of Earth ocean sometimes, is now over. It was 30 years. So it means that now we have the state which was 30 years ago because oceans buffer, buffer the climate changes a little bit. But now its capacity to buffer it, buffer it is now over and uh, the world oceans cannot accept more heat that accepted. This uh, buffering capacity of uh, oceans is given or depends on the dissolving capacity of CO2 molecule in the water. So it means if we have polar water, we can dissolve there more CO2 molecule. Just make a little experiment. If you have a bottle of water with gas, yeah, so maybe a little bit. This is a bottle with gas. Okay. This is a bottle of water. There is a gas, there's a lot of gas. Uh, probably you have this experience already. Try to put this bottle to the fridge. If you open it, just a little of CO2 molecule evaporates or just uh, is released. However, try to leave this bottle in a car when it's summer and it's pretty hot. In the car can be something like 50 degrees of Celsius or even more. And after that, try to open the bottle. So tell me, Elizabeth, what happened? If I open the bottle of gas with gas, which was heated to 50 degrees of Celsius. Uh, a lot of gas will come out. Yes, and therefore there is a lot of liquid everywhere. Yeah. You are going to be wet. Yes, thank you, Mohammed. It's it's nice uh, experiment. You can do it many times and the result is all the time the same. So if you are going to open uh, water with gas, which is cool it down, Practically no water, no gas is going outside. So colder, colder water can absorb and dissolve more CO2 molecule than the hot water. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So from this little experiment, we can we can now understand why uh, the heating capacity of oceans depends on the dissolving capacity of CO2 molecule. So by the evaporation or release of CO2 molecule from oceans, we are even increasing the amount of CO2 molecule and it means that we are contribute to the global warming. So that's a circle. And now the circle is now a spiral. So it's now really rotating. So what can happen? What can happen if uh, the average temperature of all organs is increased more than three degrees of Celsius? Any idea? Like the, the ocean and the sea? Mm -hmm. there like is a the, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a lot of gas will be released, like the CO2 into the yes. environment, which will like cause uh, global warming to be worse. Uh -huh. And therefore the temperature of atmosphere is increasing again. And, yeah. and it again pushes for the warming of water and again more gas is increased. So that would happen. However, there is one trick because um, to speak about the average temperature of atmosphere, what do you think? What about the temperature in Antarctic? If you measure it in, in in Jordan, for example, and in the Czech Republic, 
right now. Where is higher temperature? Jordan. This, so in Jordan, definitely. So for example, in Jordan, you have something like 25. And here in the Czech Republic, we have something like 15. So average is 20, but you have five degrees more in Jordan. And in the Czech Republic, we have five degrees less. So to speak about average, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it's the same like for water, for the temperature of water. So it's, there is one rule, it's a physical rule. If we have water as well as gas, with different temperatures, they are not really happy to be mixed. This is the basis for weather. Without this feature of gas and water, we don't have weather because everywhere in the planet, we will have an average temperature. If gases as well as water are going to mix it to have an average temperature. But indeed, we are very well experienced that it doesn't happen. So we may have, for example, sometimes quite in quite close destination, for example, in Prague and in South Moravia, there can be sometimes 20 degrees difference. So the air is not really happy to be mixed. So what happened that we have layers of uh, air with different temperature, the same with water. And because of the difference, the water as well as air, they are going to uh, moving, yeah. So the air is blowing, and what happened with liquid? Liquid is. Tell me, girls from US, what happened with water? Air is blowing, and water is just this English word for running. Flowing. Right. Flowing. Okay, thank you. So. Air is blowing, water is flowing. So these layers are going to flowing. Probably you know that we have uh, in atmosphere some dominant directions of wind. These dominant directions of wind, they influence, they affect the resulted weather in every side of our planet. The same in the water. We have the Gulf and Labrador, you know, this area. For example, this Gulf flow, it goes from, from the from equator to the north, to the England, to England, to Britain. And because of the Gulf flow, we may in Britain quite acceptable climate. So it's raining, but not so terrible cold. On the other hand, from the opposite side, the Labrador flow, it goes from the north to the south and it cools uh, the west, uh, the east part of uh, Canada, of North America. It is expected that if the global warming reach some point, some switching point, uh, the directions of these flows in the atmosphere as well as in the sea are going to be changed. In the environment, it's very valid that every change is not provided uh, smoothly. So what it means? It means that everything is some, something is happened, but we cannot recognize it. It happens, so it's warming, 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 something is happened, but we cannot really accept that something is happened. Oh, it's said, yeah, it's a little bit, yeah, it's, uh, it's, we have, we don't have 25 degrees in summer, but 30, yeah, it's fancy, it's fine, yeah, okay, happy, still fine. But once a day it happened that everything switches, completely changed, complete catastrophe and everything. So exactly by this way behaves all environment systems. So the change is uh, hidden. So that means that it's very hard. Okay, scientists, they are able to calculate it. They are able to predict it. But politicians and humans, it's very hard to explain them to accept that some quite serious change is approaching because for the first two, nothing has happened. Is it clear? Yes. Just to finish uh, this carbon cycle. And finally, we have another uh, matter here. 
it's a massive, it's a stone, it's limestone. And how this limestone was created? Uh, under the water, under the sea, we have many animals. Some of them, maybe I will show you one thing. So under the sea, there are some animals and they have some putty pool and, you know, for example, um, this one. Okay, now we can see it. So this is made of carbon as well as calcium, so together. And now it's empty, there are no animals, but once the animal die, this remain under the sea. And these parts of uh, dead bodies are sinking down. And because of the pressure, they are smashed on the bottom. And they are smashed and smashed many, many thousand and million years. And from these tiny and little an animals, after millions a year, we may have a mountain. So, therefore, there again, a mountain. So, uh, this is the circle which is now uh, interconnecting. So, from the mountain, from the bedrock, is again created a soil, and soil is used like a nutrition for plants. So now the circle of carbon is just uh, finished. So we have a gas, we have a dissolved carbon dioxide in, the, in, in, in water, and also we have a stone, which is also made of carbon dioxide in originally, actually. So questions to this topic? Not and move forward a little bit. So let's move to oxygen. Yeah, we have something like 10 minutes. So we are going to finish uh, oxygen and I will give you a homework. So uh, next time we are going to check the homework. So a few minutes for oxygen. Again, oxygen exists in two forms, inorganic and organic as, as usual. Uh, the inorganic form, the very famous one, it's O2 molecule, but also some salts uh, or inorganic uh, acids or hydroxides. And very big group is organic bounded oxygen, which can be found in saccharides, lipid, peptides, proteins, amino acids, and so on. Um, oxygen amounts more than 60% of living body, so almost 63%. Here you can see a structure of saccharides. It's a, it's a dis, uh, of sacchar sucrose, sucrose, it's a disaccharide, which consists from two molecules of monosaccharides from glucose, this bigger one, and fructose, the smaller one. So very famous chemical sucrosis. So you are going to know, you are going to learn more in biochemistry from ESA. So let's move to hydrogen. 9.3%, uh, almost 10% for all living bodies. Again, we can distinguish organic and inorganic forms. Uh, very important is water, so H2O molecule, very smaller one. That's, uh, if you compare it, so CO2 molecule, CO2 molecule, so we have a carbon, two oxygens, so three atoms together. Just look at H2O molecule. We have oxygen and two hydrogen, so again, three atoms. But normally, CO2 molecule, it's a gas, right? But water in normal pressure and normal temperature, it's not a gas at all. Do you agree? 
Yeah. Is it a gas? No, yes. it's a liquid. No. Why is it a liquid? Because it's a smaller molecule. Any idea? Because of hydrogen bonds. So what it means? It means that uh, H2O molecule consists from uh, oxygen. It's very electronegative element. It means that it attracts electrons. He is very selfish. He would like to have all electrons which are in close distance of him. So therefore, uh, oxygen steal an electron which originally belongs to hydrogen. So hydrogen is the simplest atom at all. It has only one proton, one neutron, and one electron. And this electron is weakly bonded, and therefore oxygen can steal it quite easily. Therefore, uh, on oxygen, there is a very negative, particular, particular, very negative charge. And in hydrogen, there is a positive one. So it makes this molecule polar. So there are two poles, the negative one, negative one. Yeah, okay. move my finger. Not easy to work with two monitors, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so negative. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, it's not working. I have to use my mouse. Uh, mouse? No. So negative on oxygen, and on hydrogen, there is a positive one. So it's a pole positive hydrogen, negative oxygen. And what is positive and negative, it, it is attracted to each other. You know, the opposite attracts. This is very well known from physics. However, we, what can be attracted is a part of a different molecule. So it means that between a hydrogen, from, for example, this one with the red dot, this one is attracted by the negative charge present in another uh, oxygen, in another molecule. By this manner or this way of bonding, it creates a network among the whole molecule. So water is liquid during normal pressure, I mean atmospheric pressure, and a normal temperature like 20 degrees of Celsius, but here I have something like 15. So because of this uh, hydrogen bond, water is not a gas, but it's a liquid. But try to imagine the consequences of liquid water. Liquid water was probably the place where life was created. So, without this feature, physical chemical feature of the water molecule, the life cannot be created in the earth in the form as we know. So it's very, so this is the physical chemical evidence. However, I think it has very broad philosophical consequences. Just think about it. This is one optional homework for you. But second, not optional one, is to see a video about water. I'm going to skip this one. We are going to continue next time, don't worry. Many things to continue, but here is the link. I'm going to not show you the video right now, but I am going to copy, copy the link. So this link I am giving to chat because we have three minutes to finish. So chat is here. So your homework. So see this video and try to make some notes about water.
what you are going to learn from the video. Just remember that. I'm going to prepare for you a mini task. It's a little questionnaire. I'm not going to ask you, for example, Mohamed or Marcos or Alexandros or Elizabeth to answer some question. Everyone can answer it. And from this mini test, you will get your first points. So we are going to check it at the beginning of next lecture. I am going to send you. Yeah, Mohamed, I see you, but let me to finish the sentence. Uh, at the beginning of next lecture, I'm going to send you the link for the mini test and you are going to fill it. You will have something like five minutes to fill it. So your homework again, just to see the video, to remember the information in the video and later on answer the questionnaire, in, answer the question in the mini test. Yes, Mohamed, you had a question? Yeah, uh, about the link you sent it, uh... I don't know why, but I cannot open the chat in the meeting. It says chat and channel meetings is only for team members. Oh, so you are not a team member. I don't know why. <laughs> OK, uh, I'm going to send it. Uh, via email, but why you are not a team member? I don't know because the e my email, everything is in like the Charles email, so I don't know what's wrong. Is it a number? It should be a number. Yeah. Um, I, I also don't have it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here too. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to find you. So biology. So I'm going to send to everyone. An email. Where's the link? So Thank here you. it is. Now we have it in an email. But for next time, it's really a little bit annoying to send emails. I don't like emails <laughs> because I am receiving many emails every day. So therefore, I'm not happy to send them. But what I would like to invite you is this group. Do you have a Facebook, all of you? I am probably you are not using that. No. Often. No. Oh. So uh, it was Elizabeth or who? Yes, it was me. I don't have Facebook. And you, you cannot, you don't have access to. Could you do at least something just uh, to have access to Teams? Uh, maybe you can visit uh, because we have four people who had problems with teams. It can happen and the technical service in this faculty. I don't know why for some students it doesn't work. You know, I don't, I'm not IT specialist. I cannot solve it. I am happy that it works at least for me. So for this purposes, I have I made a group. Uh, of uh, people. Uh, I asked uh, or I sent a request to join it. Uh -huh. I will try it to. I will try it. Yeah, it's maybe I see it. So uh, I am going to copy the link and I will put it to just chat again just to be in Facebook because in Facebook you have also the handouts here. I'm going to show you here. So here you have presentations. Yeah, here this PDF. This is the presentations which I'm going to use. And here are also uh, some extra uh, extra activities for you. So everything is here. And it's easier to be downloaded. Another option is to put it on Moodle. I can put it to Teams, to Moodle, to Facebook. It's already there. But if you don't have access to Moodle, to Teams, to Facebook, usually it's the same problem for one person. So normally every, the majority of team members, you have access to all three possibilities. But especially there are some special cases which don't have access to any uh, source. So what I recommend uh, to ask someone to resend you the links, maybe. So what do you guess? 
because teams this is the official official thing I'm going to send you again the email maybe in moodle it's better since everyone i think has moodle well, it's better i received the email mm -hmm. But Moodle, it exists already. So you can join Moodle as well. Yeah, the materials are already there. So just join Moodle. There is a clue, there is a key for Moodle. I, I will remember. I didn't change it from the last year. Maybe try to get there in Moodle. So. If it is not working, just let me know next time. I will get remember uh, the key for the access. So all the materials are in Moodle. They are in Teams and they are already in Facebook. So choose the best option for you. Okay. Now I see people. So, questions. So, uh, you wanted us just to uh, watch the video and just make some notes about it, right? Which notes? The video you sent us. You want just to make some notes about it? Uh, I'm not sure if I understand you. Maybe could you repeat it, please? Yeah, yeah, you wanted us. You sent us a video or a YouTube. Ah, video. Or okay. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't understand one word, so it doesn't make sense to together. So just see the video, and in the beginning of next lecture, I'm going to send you a questionnaire. You are going to fill a little test, just to check uh, the info, and from the test you will receive some points, which are going to be counted as a credit. Is it clear? Yeah. OK. Someone else would like to ask me? So if not, I would like to thank you for today. Uh, just have a rest. It's a weekend. Uh, it's special weekend because we have October. You may visit many festivals in Prague, so enjoy it. And next time I'm looking forward to you. See you next time. Bye bye. Um, miss. Um, bye. Yes, Hi, miss. Um, I was just wondering if I could transfer my credits from the other university for biology. Mm, it's very complicated. So, uh, no, no. Uh, it was very problem. I can sign it, but it, there is some official procedure. Oh. And usually it's not working. Okay. I I sign it many times to many students, and in the end. We just spent a lot of time with some finding some documents from your home university and so on, and it doesn't work. Because I can ask for um, the list of the course outline, because I did the same thing for biochemistry. So I was really mm, hoping. It's, to again, it's the same problem because you need oh. a syllabus, which will be confirmed from your university with a stamp mm -hmm. and signature. So the syllabus has to be the same one as we have. So for biology, probably there will be no overlap, I'm for sure. For biochemistry, more or less, there, there could be. But also you need a signature or sign it confirmation that you pass the exam. So it's quite complicated. And in the end, uh, the commission, they are not going to accept it. So I will spend with this procedure a couple of hours. You will spend a couple of days and the result is zero. So therefore, I recommend you OK, I'm not going to accept it, so I can stop it in the beginning, okay. this process. So that's going. Okay. I'm going to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, see you next week. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you.